Okay, we are live. Hello, hello everyone. If you're watching this on the replay, I'm gonna wait a minute or so. Let me get my mask back right. Hold up, hold up. It is still very real. But hopefully you can hear me I'm trying to stay away from the crowd. Um, yes, we are in Mexico City, everyone. Um, I am doing a live stream today because my time management has not been the best, okay? And um, actually yesterday, your girl had to see a doctor. So, um, yeah, my weekend did not go well. So, but I guess the bright side is that we will have a video about what it was like, my first medical experience here in Mexico City. We are right here. This area is called Reforma. Um, yeah, so that's where we are. Today, I kind of wanted to keep up with uh, regularly scheduled programming, the program that I have in my mind, okay? And I want to kind of paint a picture for what it's like here in Mexico City. Um, I saw somebody say, hey, and hope you feel better. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, so if you've watched my live streams before, then you know that I cannot multitask. So if I, if you ask a question and I don't answer it, it's, I'm not ignoring it or anything like that, I will literally uh, lose my train of thought. So um, if you have any questions, uh, definitely put them up. Um, after the live stream, I will go back, well, later on today because I'm going to the flea market. But later on today, I will, um, I will answer those questions. And then towards the end of this live stream, maybe like the last five minutes, I will take time to um, say answer any questions you have. Okay, but uh, we'll just take a quick, I guess, 30 seconds or so, or 40, a minute, to um, do your roll call. We do the roll call. Please tell me where you're tuning in from and what time it is. I saw Melissa. Hey, girl. Hope you're doing well. Um, I know the first guy I saw the, I saw B. I didn't see the entire name. <laughs> oh, goodness. But I hope everyone is enjoying their Sunday. All right. We, the Angel of Independence is actually right behind us, but they're doing work on it, or else I would have showed you guys that. Hey, CW from Illinois. Thank you for tuning in. All right, all right. So, make sure you guys get views. People are always selling things. Alerta siempre. Welcome. B is for butter. <laughs> NYC in the house, okay? All right, guys, so let's get right into this uh, because I've kind of on a schedule today i want to hit up like two or three um flea markets but to paint a picture of mexico city um one thing that really uh caught my eye is the familiarity of the city um being abroad i'm used to seeing um like mcdonald's kfc um burger king and so that type of stuff from america reaches very very far no gracias senora lo siento um that kind of stuff reaches very very far but i wasn't really expecting to see like cheesecake factory pf changs you know i know mexico is our neighbor you know right there but i just didn't know okay because i didn't really i haven't really seen that type of stuff in my experience before um there's also office depot office max sally beauty gnc a lot of things are here you know um and so i wasn't really expecting that um I was watching, I think her name is Aja, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm mispronouncing it, my bad, but um, I watched a lot of her videos. I didn't know that Walmart was, he Walmart was here. And I think one thing that really caught me off guard, I was actually looking at, um, I was going to the grocery store for the first time and on Google Maps, it said Superama. And when I showed up, it was a Walmart. So all your brands are here. If you want Frosted Flakes, that's here, you know. I'm trying to figure out how to cross this road. Give me one second. <laughs> Um, yeah, all of that is here. Um, so that's really been a, a pleasantry because in places like South Korea, Poland, you might have had to go to specialty stores or like in Korea, you would have had to go to Seoul to, my, to maybe get some of the stuff that you missed. So that's one thing that really caught me for the city, caught me off guard. Um, also, I always talk about, you know, the people, for example. Um, here, I always, I notice like, this common sense of humor like there's laughter sense of humor you can joke with like a clerk in circle k you know what i'm saying it's not like i wasn't really able to do that before um i really haven't seen any altercations um or yelling or anything and if i did i mind my business okay so i don't really know what that's about but i will say that me and a friend were in a car 
Uh -huh. I got I got a pause. Sorry, that's my aunt. Ah, okay. I talked to mama earlier, <laughs> so she's out and about maybe. Um, so yeah. Ah, oh, see, I told you I will lose my train of thought. But yes, I was in a I was in an Uber with a friend, and we were at a red light, and we saw. I'm gonna pause real quick. We saw this um, drunk guy and a sober guy arguing. Not a pretty picture, but um, the sober guy pushed the drunk guy down to the ground. And um, the drunk guy got up and he shook the man's hand. So <laughs> we weren't really expecting that. But I guess, you know, the sober guy needed to show that he could whoop the drunk, the drunk man's ass, basically. And they just shook it out. So that's the only like altercation, like physical thing that I've seen. Um, and, and then even then it ended well. So I will say that, um, yeah, the people here really, of course, make the city what it is. Um, I won't say, I mean, it's not all like puppies and roses of course I do see homelessness um, a lot in the city um, just you know people either asking for money or people just as asleep or whatever um, yeah so that's that is definitely here as well um, I guess that's gonna come with most major cities I want you guys to kind of see here people just out and about so a lot of people riding their bikes I went to the park the other morning and um, yeah people doing like a uh, Boxing exercises. I mean, just it's a very, very active city as well. Let me see. Also, it's very loud. <laughs> so uh, early in the morning, you can hear all types of noises. It could be someone singing. It could be someone ringing a bell. It could be someone on a bike with a recording telling you to bring out your electronics. All of that type of stuff. So um, that, that, that just makes the city, okay? Uh, the bars. Somebody did ask about the bars. Um, so there is kind of like a curfew. Well, all bars are supposed to stop serving at 11. Well, I think it's actually, they close at 11. So I think last call was like 1030 or something like that. Um, there are underground places. I don't go to them, but they're there. <laughs> um, Linda, Linda. Okay, hello, Alerta. Um, actually, I do have a story about that one. There is one of my, I call it my secret place because not a lot of people go there. So I don't really talk about it much, but um, they make the best cocktails. Shout out to Fabian. Um, he's the bartender there. And we were, it was a group of us um, there till closing. And like I said, it's supposed to close at 11. 11.02, we're out there talking to the owner, talking about how much we love the bar. We'll be back soon. And we saw like this swarm of about five or six police officers um, coming our way. I didn't think they were coming to us, but they came to us and they were asking, you know, what was in our cups um they were asking you know where what we were doing and things like that and one of one of my friends did uh speak spanish so um she, you know she was just saying like we're leaving we're just talking to the owner um but of course they were talking about well you know they were talking about arresting some people i don't i don't know the seriousness of it but we went back to the bar and um the owner just said they were just trying to get money or whatever so everything turned out well nobody got arrested i don't think the bar got a fine or anything like that but that type of stuff can happen so that's the answer to the bar question okay and one last little thing because i kind of wanted to keep this under 15 minutes because i know i like to um to ramble um and then like i say i'll leave the last five minutes for any questions that you guys may have um one other thing i want to point out is you know mexico city wasn't my um, intended city. I kind of want you guys to see this. This is Reformer 222. It's one of the shopping malls here. Um, I go to Zara. <laughs> but yeah, so Mexico City was not my intended city. I was supposed to go to Merida. That was just the plan after um, looking in the black Mex pats. That's just what I decided based on other people's experiences and the questions that I asked. But I ended up in Mexico City because if you know from the first Mexico vlog that I did, um, I ended up in Mexico City because my brother came here, okay? And so I just wanted to spend a couple of days with him and it just made sense to come here first. So my plan was to kind of be in different cities for like two to four weeks at a time. But honestly, y'all, I don't wanna leave Mexico City. <laughs> like I've kind of, that plan has kind of fallen by the wayside. I kind of, I'm very, very comfortable here. Um, it's very common when you meet other expats, you know, in Poland, the question was, why Poland? You know, why would you choose Poland? What made you come here? Uh, you know, some people do say, why Mexico? But the biggest question is, how long have you been here? And how long were you supposed to be here? 
So there's a lot of people who come, oh, I was only supposed to be here two weeks. It's been three months. I was only supposed to be here two months. It's been a year, you know? So people get here, they get comfortable. And um, yeah, it's just a great, great vibe. Like everything that I've explained to you guys, you know, even, you know, I said earlier in the video, I saw a doctor yesterday. Um, <laughs> I saw a doctor yesterday and that experience was unlike any that I've had. Um, so I will definitely tell you guys about that in the next week or so. So, um, yeah, everything's just convenient, nice. I mean, I was spoiled, you know, by Warsaw. Things are a tad bit cheaper here than, um, I'm sorry, a tad bit more expensive here than Warsaw. So that's been kind of an adjustment. But um, I do, oh, and then remember the stomach issues. So, yeah, that's that's been a thing too. Um, somebody has to tell me how to pronounce it Matsuma's revenge or whatever. I thought it was a one-time thing. It's not that thing keep coming back <laughs> So yeah, okay, so we're at 11 minutes now. I'll use the like the last four minutes for any questions that anyone has And of course if you're watching on the playback drop your questions as well in the comment section and I'll be sure to get to those And I saw some people say Polska. I saw Yasik, so I'm pretty sure that's Polska as well Jin dobre. <laughs> This mask y'all <laughs> i'm gonna watch them and look back and be like why okay so i know i answered the bars question and uh yeah and i did announce this live stream on um on instagram like an hour ago i said hey you know make sure your notifications are turned on so yeah follow me on instagram at jasmine t underscore tv i'm entering into an area i've never been in before so i'm walking a lot further than i expected yeah I don't know I mean I know it's still reforma so but yeah does anyone have plans on coming to Mexico um, and remember if you do have like in-depth questions um, you could definitely book a consultation with me go to jasmineTTV.com and uh, you'll see the little purple button book time with me and you'll be able to do that oh thank you I don't know who did that but I appreciate your uh, pull oh okay all right this is new y'all great <laughs> okay i ain't know about that all right cool and then it came with a sticker thank you melissa and then the person i, I see polish zwati so that might have been ah oh, that might have been melissa okay you're going for work over there assuming you're working ah okay so i actually did um i think it was like a life update video that i did someone asked what what i'm doing for work so i actually um work remotely i don't teach anymore um because i ain't had a patience for that so a little background just really quickly about myself um i was a commercial real i was a commercial real estate broker um i went to school got my bachelor's in real estate and then i was a broker from 2000 like 13 to 2016 is when i quit everything it was like quarter life crisis i gotta do something different and so i got into teaching just because it seemed like an easy way um, to live abroad all right because I knew I didn't just want to travel abroad I wanted to actually experience cultures and live abroad um, and so long story short with the pandemic my mentor I consider him my mentor the guy who hired me uh, at my last real estate job at my at the last commercial firm I saw that he started his own uh, real estate firm and I reached out to him he's still based in Charlotte and I was like do you need help and I've been working with him ever since so basically since March 2020 I've been doing that um, and I've told you guys before I did a an Instagram post I don't really talk about it a lot but kind of create your own opportunities if teaching seems like the only way like especially now especially in Mexico City I've met a lot of people who are working remotely and they're not teachers so either their job is allowing them to work remotely or they're just creating opportunities for themselves um, yeah so teaching doesn't have to be the only way I was talking to a guy he's traveled um, I think he spent a a, quite a bit of time in Thailand if I'm not mistaken but um, he was talking about most of the people I'm sorry most of the people that he met are teachers but he said here in Mexico City he's never seen like a mix of foreigners who did all sorts of different things so I can start asking around to see what people do um, and see if that they're just working remotely because of the pandemic do they think that it'll extend um, and I think that'll actually be good for you guys to see what kind of jobs people have but for me I just I'm basically working with a commercial real estate firm doing what I was doing before except I just don't have my own clients so hopefully that answers your question <laughs> okay 
All right, so we're approaching the 15 minute mark here, guys. I'm gonna keep it short. If you have any questions, remember just drop them below. I'll check them later this evening. Follow me on Instagram. I will be posting pictures of what I find at the, at the antique market. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Bye y'all. Thank you, CRM de la Femme. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.